So one of the most obvious challenges in monitoring international trade in live stony corals is the sheer volume that takes place. For example, in 2021, the UK imported 110,000 live corals, 61,000 of these were wild and 49,000 were maricultured. There are also over 1,500 species of stony corals listed under CITES, a number of which face trade suspensions and other restrictions. There are two. Uh, first is the funding limitation. Uh, we know that uh, coral reef is not been priority. And second is the shortage of human resources uh, in terms of the ability in identification. This guide will be an invaluable resource, primarily for Border Force and other enforcement authorities, but also for others. It will support their efforts to verify that shipments of CITES species are traded legally and identify any anomalies where they may occur. So, the impact of having this uh, guide of international trade in leaf stony coral is the equality of understanding between the import importers country and the export country. We believe the guide will be accessible and useful to a wide variety of end users, including border officials, inspectors and CITES authorities. With this resource, the hope is that illegal and mislabeled CITES shipments will reduce over time as the identification process at the border improves.